Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're delving into the dark side of Hollywood as we explore the 25 worst alcoholics in its history. From legendary actors to beloved actresses, the allure of fame often came hand in hand with the perils of addiction. Join us as we uncover the stories of those who struggled with alcoholism in Tinseltown. Now, let's get started. Bela Lugosi was a Hungarian-American actor born on October 20, 1882, in Lugos, Kingdom of Hungary, now Lugoj, Romania. He became famous for his iconic portrayal of Count Dracula in the 1931 film adaptation of Bram Stoker's novel, solidifying his status as a horror film legend. Lugosi's career was marked by numerous appearances in horror films, often portraying sinister characters with his captivating stage presence and distinctive Hungarian accent. However, Lugosi struggled with alcoholism throughout his life, which adversely affected his career and personal life. Despite his talent, he was often typecast in horror roles and faced financial difficulties. Tragically, Lugosi's battle with alcoholism and declining health led to his death on August 16, 1956, at the age of 73. He died of a heart attack while in bed at his Los Angeles home. Despite his struggles, Lugosi's legacy endures, with his portrayal of Dracula remaining one of the most iconic in cinematic history. Albert Finney was an English actor born on May 9, 1936, in Salford, England. He rose to prominence in the 1960s with his breakout role in the film Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, 1960, earning critical acclaim for his portrayal of a rebellious young factory worker. Finney's versatile talent led to a diverse career spanning across stage, film, and television. Throughout his career, Finney garnered numerous accolades, including five Academy Award nominations for roles in films like Tom Jones, 1963, Murder on the Orient Express, 1974, and Aaron Brockovich, 2000. He also found success on stage, earning Tony Award nominations for his performances in various plays. While Finney was known for his dedication to his craft, he faced struggles with alcoholism during certain periods of his life. Despite these challenges, he continued to deliver memorable performances until his passing. Finney died on February 7, 2019, at the age of 82, from a chest infection at the Royal Marsden Hospital in London, England. His legacy remains celebrated in the world of cinema and theater. Broderick Crawford was an American actor born on December 9, 1911, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. He became famous for his role as Willie Stark in the 1949 film All the King's Men, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Actor. Crawford's commanding presence and distinctive voice contributed to his success both on screen and on stage. Throughout his career, Crawford portrayed a variety of characters in film and television, often excelling in tough guy roles or authority figures. His notable performances include appearances in films like Born Yesterday, 1950, and The Mob, 1951, as well as the television series Highway Patrol, where he played the role of Chief Dan Matthews. Despite his professional achievements, Crawford battled with alcoholism throughout his life, which sometimes affected his career and personal relationships. Sadly, he passed away on April 26, 1986, at the age of 74, due to a stroke. Despite his struggles, Crawford's contributions to the entertainment industry continue to be remembered and appreciated by audiences worldwide. Ava Gardner was an iconic American actress born on December 24, 1922, in Grabtown, North Carolina. She rose to fame during Hollywood's golden age, known for her beauty, talent, and magnetic screen presence. Gardner's breakthrough role came with her performance in The Killers, 1946, which established her as a leading lady in the film industry. Throughout her career, Gardner starred in numerous acclaimed films, including Magambo, 1953, The Barefoot Contessa, 1954, and On the Beach, 1959, 
earning her critical praise and accolades. Despite her professional success, Gardner struggled with alcoholism, which affected her personal life and relationships. Despite efforts to overcome her addiction, she continued to battle with alcohol throughout her life. Ava Gardner passed away on January 25, 1990, at the age of 67, due to pneumonia. Her legacy endures through her timeless performances on screen, cementing her status as one of Hollywood's legendary actresses. Marie Prévost was a Canadian-American actress born on November 8, 1898, in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. She gained fame during the silent film era for her beauty, charm, and comedic talent. Prévost's career began in the 1910s, and she quickly rose to prominence with her roles in silent films such as The Marriage Circle, 1924, and The Racket, 1928. Despite her early success, Prevost's career waned with the advent of sound and cinema. She struggled to transition to talking pictures and experienced financial difficulties. Prevost also battled with alcoholism, which exacerbated her personal and professional challenges. Tragically, Marie Prevost died on January 21, 1937, at the age of 38, due to complications related to alcoholism and malnutrition. Her passing sparked a discussion about the pressures and pitfalls of fame in Hollywood, shedding light on the darker aspects of the entertainment industry. Prevost's legacy endures through her contributions to early cinema, although her story serves as a poignant reminder of the tolls of stardom. John Wayne born Marion Robert Morrison on May 26, 1907, in Winterset, Iowa, was an American actor, director, and producer who became an enduring icon of the Western film genre. His imposing stature, rugged demeanor, and distinctive voice made him a symbol of American masculinity and patriotism on screen. Wayne's career spanned over five decades, during which he appeared in over 170 films, including classics such as Stagecoach, 1939, the Searchers, 1956, and True Grit, 1969, for which he won an Academy Award for Best Actor. While Wayne was known for his tough exterior on screen, he faced personal battles off camera, including struggles with alcohol. Despite these challenges, he maintained a prolific career and remained a beloved figure in Hollywood. Sadly, John Wayne died on June 11, 1979, at the age of 72, after a long battle with stomach cancer. His legacy as one of the greatest actors in film history endures, with his films continuing to captivate audiences worldwide. Gig Young, born Byron Ellsworth Barr on November 4, 1913, in St. Cloud, Minnesota, was an American actor known for his charm, versatility, and skillful portrayals in film and television. He adopted the stage name Gig Young early in his career. Young gained fame for his roles in films such as Come Fill the Cup, 1951, Teacher's Pet, 1958, and They Shoot Horses Don't They, 1969, for which he won the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Despite his professional success, Young battled with alcoholism throughout his life, which affected his career and personal relationships. His struggles with alcohol led to erratic behavior on set and strained interactions with colleagues. Tragically, Gig Young's life was cut short when, on October 19, 1978, at the age of 64, he died in an apparent murder-suicide. He was found dead alongside his fifth wife, Kim Schmidt, in their New York City apartment. The incident shocked Hollywood and left a tragic end to the life of a talented actor. Larry Hagman was an American actor born on September 21, 1931, in Fort Worth, Texas. He rose to fame for his iconic portrayal of the charming and conniving J.R. Ewing in the television series Dallas, which aired from 1978 to 1991. Hagman's performance as J.R. earned him widespread acclaim and made him a household name around the world.
Throughout his career, Hagman appeared in numerous other television shows and films, including the popular sitcom I Dream of Jeannie, where he played the role of Major Anthony Nelson. Despite his professional success, Hagman struggled with alcoholism for many years, which occasionally impacted his work and personal life. However, he eventually sought treatment and maintained sobriety in his later years. Tragically, Larry Hagman passed away on November 23, 2012, at the age of 81, due to complications from acute myeloid leukemia. His legacy lives on through his memorable performances and contributions to the entertainment industry, particularly as the unforgettable J.R. Ewing. Glenn Ford was a Canadian-American actor born on May 1, 1916, in St. Christine d'Auvergne, Quebec, Canada. He became famous for his versatile performances in a wide range of film genres, including dramas, westerns, and film noirs. Ford's breakout role came in the 1940s with films like Gilda, 1946, opposite Rita Hayworth, which solidified his status as a leading man in Hollywood. Throughout the 1950s and 1960s, he continued to star in successful films such as 310 to Yuma, 1957, and The Courtship of Eddie's Father, 1963. While Ford enjoyed a successful career on screen, he struggled with alcoholism, which reportedly affected his personal life and relationships. Despite these challenges, he remained dedicated to his craft and continued to deliver compelling performances. Glenn Ford passed away on August 30, 2006, at the age of 90, from complications of a series of strokes. His legacy endures through his extensive body of work, showcasing his talent and contribution to the golden age of Hollywood. Sterling Hayden was an American actor and author born on March 26, 1916 in Montclair, New Jersey. He rose to fame for his rugged good looks and intense performances in a variety of film genres, particularly in film noir and action films. Hayden's breakthrough role came in the 1950 film The Asphalt Jungle, where he portrayed Dix Handley, a tough criminal with a moral code. He further solidified his reputation with memorable performances in films like Johnny Guitar, 1954, and The Killing, 1956. Despite his success on screen, Hayden struggled with alcoholism throughout his life, which at times affected his career and personal relationships. However, he was able to overcome his addiction and later became an advocate for Alcoholics Anonymous. Sterling Hayden died on May 23, 1986, at the age of 70, from prostate cancer. Despite his battles with alcoholism, he left behind a lasting legacy as a talented and versatile actor, remembered for his contributions to classic cinema. Judy Garland, born Frances Ethel Gum on June 10, 1922, in Grand Rapids, Minnesota, was an American actress, singer, and dancer who rose to fame as one of the brightest stars of Hollywood's golden age. Garland's breakthrough came with her iconic portrayal of Dorothy Gale in The Wizard of Oz, 1939, solidifying her status as a legendary performer. Throughout her career, Garland showcased her immense talent in both film and music, earning critical acclaim and numerous awards, including an Academy Juvenile Award and a Grammy Lifetime Achievement Award. Despite her professional success, Garland battled with personal demons, including struggles with addiction to prescription drugs and alcohol. These battles took a toll on her health and career, leading to numerous challenges both on and off the screen. Tragically, Judy Garland passed away on June 22, 1969, at the age of 47, due to an accidental overdose of barbiturates. Despite her struggles, her legacy as one of the greatest entertainers of all time endures, with her contributions to film and music continuing to inspire generations. Mary Astor was an American actress born on May 3, 1906, in Quincy, Illinois. 
she became famous for her captivating performances in a wide range of film genres during the golden age of Hollywood. Astor's breakthrough role came in the 1926 silent film Don Juan, but she truly made her mark in the industry with her performance in The Maltese Falcon, 1941, where she starred alongside Humphrey Bogart. Throughout her career, Astor demonstrated versatility and depth in her roles, earning an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress for her performance in The Great Lie, 1941. While Astor's professional life flourished, she struggled with personal challenges, including battles with alcoholism. Despite these difficulties, she continued to work in film and television, showcasing her talent and resilience. Mary Astor passed away on September 25, 1987, at the age of 81, from respiratory failure. Her legacy endures through her memorable performances and contributions to classic cinema. Rita Hayworth, born Margarita Carmen Cancino on October 17, 1918, in Brooklyn, New York, was an American actress and dancer who became one of the most iconic stars of Hollywood's golden age. Hayworth's rise to fame began in the 1940s with her roles in films such as Gilda, 1946, and Covergirl, 1944, where she showcased her sultry beauty and exceptional dancing skills. Throughout her career, Hayworth was celebrated for her performances in a variety of genres, including musicals, dramas, and film noirs. Her magnetic screen presence and charisma captivated audiences around the world. Despite her professional success, Hayworth battled with personal demons, including struggles with alcoholism, which reportedly stemmed from the pressures of fame and troubled relationships. Her battle with alcoholism took a toll on her health and impacted her career. Rita Hayworth passed away on May 14, 1987, at the age of 68, from complications related to Alzheimer's disease. Her legacy endures as one of Hollywood's most enduring and beloved stars. Spencer Tracy was an American actor born on April 5, 1900, in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He rose to prominence during Hollywood's golden age and became known for his naturalistic acting style and versatility in portraying a wide range of characters. Trass's breakthrough role came in the 1930 film The Last Mile, but he achieved widespread recognition and critical acclaim for his performances in films such as Captain's Courageous, 1937, Boy's Town, 1938, and Adam's Rib, 1949, opposite Katherine Hepburn. Throughout his career, Tracy was revered for his authenticity and ability to convey complex emotions on screen, earning him nine Academy Award nominations and two wins for Best Actor. While Tracy was known for his professionalism and dedication to his craft, he privately battled with alcoholism for many years. Despite his struggles, he continued to deliver memorable performances until his death. Spencer Tracy passed away on June 10, 1967, at the age of 67, from a heart attack. His legacy as one of Hollywood's greatest actors remains unparalleled. Montgomery Clift was an American actor born on October 17, 1920, in Omaha, Nebraska. He was celebrated for his intense performances and sensitive portrayals of complex characters, earning him a reputation as one of Hollywood's finest actors. Clift's breakout role came in the 1948 film Red River, opposite John Wayne, but it was his performance in A Place in the Sunday, 1951, that catapulted him to stardom and earned him his first Academy Award nomination. Throughout his career, Clift garnered critical acclaim for his roles in films such as From Here to Eternity, 1953, and Judgment at Nuremberg, 1961. However, despite his professional success, Clift struggled with personal demons, including alcoholism, which reportedly stemmed from the pressures of fame and his inner turmoil. Sadly, Montgomery Clift passed away on July 23, 1966, at the age of 45, from a heart attack. His legacy as a pioneering actor and his contributions to cinema continue to be celebrated and remembered.
Gail Russell was an American actress born on September 21, 1924, in Chicago, Illinois. She gained fame in Hollywood during the 1940s for her ethereal beauty and delicate performances in a series of notable films. Russell's breakthrough role came in 1943 with her performance in The Uninvited, where she starred opposite Ray Milland. Her delicate and haunting portrayal captivated audiences and critics alike, earning her widespread recognition. Despite her early success, Russell struggled with alcoholism throughout her life, which reportedly stemmed from her shyness and anxiety in social situations. Her battle with alcoholism affected her career and personal life, leading to periods of instability and difficulty. Tragically, Gail Russell's life was cut short when she passed away on August 26, 1961, at the age of 36, due to complications related to alcoholism. Her untimely death served as a stark reminder of the devastating impact of addiction on both individuals and their loved ones. Alan Ladd was an American actor born on September 3, 1913, in Hot Springs, Arkansas. He rose to fame during Hollywood's golden age for his roles in film noir and westerns, often portraying tough, stoic characters. Ladd's breakthrough role came in 1942 with his performance as Raven in This Gun for Hire, which established him as a leading man in Hollywood. He continued to solidify his status with roles in iconic films such as Shane, 1953, and The Blue Dahlia, 1946. While Ladd enjoyed immense success on screen, he struggled with personal demons, including battles with alcoholism. His drinking reportedly affected his health and relationships, leading to periods of instability in his career. Tragically, Alan Ladd's life was cut short when he passed away on January 29, 1964, at the age of 50, from an accidental overdose of alcohol and sedatives. His legacy as a talented actor and enduring screen presence continues to be celebrated in the annals of Hollywood history. William Holden was an American actor born on April 17, 1918, in O'Fallon, Illinois. He rose to fame during Hollywood's golden age and became known for his rugged good looks, charisma, and versatile performances. Holden's breakthrough role came with his portrayal of Joe Gillis in the film noir classic Sunset Boulevard, 1950, which earned him critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. He further solidified his status as a leading man with memorable performances in films such as Stalag 17, 1953, The Bridge on the River Kwai, 1957, and Network, 1976. While Holden enjoyed immense success on screen, he battled with alcoholism throughout his life, which reportedly affected his health and relationships. Despite his struggles, he continued to work and deliver compelling performances. Tragically, William Holden's life was cut short when he passed away on November 12, 1981, at the age of 63, from injuries sustained after a fall while intoxicated at his home in Santa Monica, California. His legacy as a talented actor and Hollywood icon endures. Richard Harris was an Irish actor, singer, and songwriter born on October 1, 1930, in Limerick, Ireland. He achieved fame and recognition for his powerful performances on stage and screen, as well as for his musical talents. Harris' breakout role came in 1963 when he portrayed the title character in the film This Sporting Life, earning him critical acclaim and an Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. He further cemented his reputation with roles in films such as Camelot, 1967, and A Man Called Horse, 1970. While Harris enjoyed a successful career, he struggled with alcoholism for many years, which at times affected his work and personal life. Despite his battles with addiction, he continued to deliver memorable performances and pursue his passion for music. Tragically, Richard Harris passed away on October 25, 2002, at the age of 72, from Hodgkin's disease, a form of lymphatic cancer. His legacy as a talented and versatile performer lives on through his enduring body of work. Mm -hmm. 
Lon Chaney Jr. was an American actor born on February 10, 1906, in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. He became famous for his iconic portrayals of classic movie monsters, particularly his role as Lawrence Talbot, the Wolfman in the Universal horror films of the 1940s. Chaney's career spanned several decades, during which he appeared in numerous horror films, including The Wolfman, 1941, Frankenstein Meets the Wolfman, 1943, and House of Frankenstein, 1944. His performances endeared him to audiences, and he became synonymous with the classic Universal monsters. While Chaney enjoyed success on screen, he struggled with alcoholism throughout his life, which impacted his career and personal relationships. Despite his battles with addiction, he continued to work steadily in film and television. Lon Chaney Jr. passed away on July 12, 1973, at the age of 67, from heart failure resulting from years of heavy drinking. His legacy as a horror icon remains immortalized in cinema history. Thank you for watching our journey through the tumultuous lives of Hollywood's most notorious alcoholics. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the world of entertainment. Until next time, stay tuned and take care.